Welcome back to Doing Time with Dan. I'm your host, author Dan Putkowski, and we're in book review mode today. I have a great travel book to talk about. It's called In the Steps of St. Paul by H.V. Morton. Now, H.V. Morton became famous when he broke the story of King Tut's tomb. He went on to write a ton of newspaper articles and various travel books that were famous back in the 20th century. Now, don't be put off by the fact that In the Steps of St. Paul was written in 1936. Remember, this is a historical travel book, and ancient history hasn't changed. You can still visit all of these places, as long as your passport will get you into the various countries. And that's really what's great about Morton. He can take you there with a consummate English gentleman. He does have that sort of ethnocentric point of view, and don't let that put you off. It'll make you cringe once in a while or maybe get a chuckle, but Morton really does understand history, and he's a great storyteller. He breaks up these travels into little vignettes. Some of them are just a few paragraphs long, some of them several pages, and then, of course, he assembles various chapters to do with each of the locations that he visits. He starts out with the Acts of the Apostles from the Bible as his travel guide, which is fascinating in and of itself. So he's following along on the missionary journeys that St. Paul took, going all the way from Jerusalem and ending up in Rome where St. Paul was martyred. So just from a biblical history point of view, it's a great travel log. Of course, it is told from his perspective and in 1936, but Morton does a great job of bringing that ancient history into it, and yet you never realize that he's teaching you all these facts and interesting stories. He's also very good at showing you the people and their customs, their food, the way different things operate in, of course, all these different countries. And one of the most fascinating things that he brings out in the very beginning of the book is how in St. Paul's time, it was a Roman world. So it might have actually been easier to travel then because there were fewer borders. Today, he had to travel through many different countries, and back then, it was all belonging to Rome, and he had to do is follow that road all the way back to the capital city. So that perspective alone has a very interesting aspect to it. And as you go along with these different travels with Morton, you're going to see the customs, the people, these ancient monuments, and every time he goes into a different city, it's a new adventure. So this book is kind of like Rick Steve meets Indiana Jones. It is a great story from beginning to end all the way to the last page, which I highly recommend because the story packs with emotion. He gets right to the very end when St. Paul was martyred in Rome. So you want to read every last page of this book. And included is also a bibliography of old travel books, stuff that you might have never heard about, but I highly recommend that you look those things up because they are original sources, which is also what makes Morton so valuable. He knows how to go back to the original, and that's where he gets his information. So here at Doing Time with Dan, we give In the Steps of St. Paul a great travel book from 1936 and yet still relevant today. We give it five stars because H.V. Morton, he's a star himself of travel writing. Thanks for stopping by here at Doing Time with Dan. Check back frequently for more book reviews, information about my favorite island of Aruba, and of course those great videos of me flying small airplanes.